All right, so we got our first clip from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and it's the gyrosphere and Carnotaurus scene. And we're going to be looking at it, and I'm going to be talking about everything and how it also shows us how the tone for the movie will be. So if you look at the background right there, you can see there are dinosaurs and lava. So this is obviously after the volcano has erupted. Which we kind of already knew that. I'm curious how they know this gyrosphere still works, but whatever. I'm sure it'll be explained, and if not, uh, the, to say they're going off dumb luck. So anyway, we just got this. Obviously, they've prob they've most likely been running from the stampede. So anyway, now I'm not sure exactly where Owen was supposed to sit. I guess he was going to sit on someone's lap. I mean, there's nowhere else he could have gone. Imagine if they had four people. Anyway, so if you look right here, he's looking, and you can see the uh, Carnotaurus. I didn't say the name right, right there. But you can see it coming toward the gyrosphere. Now, this scene heavily plays on suspense as it just slowly creeps around, and that helps set up the how we can see the tone for the whole movie will be slow suspense building. And I really like that. It's like Alien, the original Alien. That movie was heavy, slow suspense through the whole thing, and it was great. See, it's just slowly creeping closer. And you get a good look at it, but there's not much more. And you can see it's clearly just focused on him, not the two who were inside the gyrosphere. Also, where does he go? Right here. Where does he go in the second act of the movie? He kind of just disappears. Is he going to pull a Nick Van Owen and just up and vanish? Probably. Anyway, this movie really seems out of the feel of the Lost World. So it creeps, keeps creeping closer, and like I said, it really plays on the suspense. You can see some fire in the background. This is one of the new clips we had yesterday, and I was wrong. I assumed that this, the order of these would occur, but that's okay. So it's not a happy dinosaur. As you can see, now it's getting, now it's about to go in for the kill, and boom. So, we already know how that's going to go down, and it actually isn't that big of a dinosaur. If you look at the T-Rex, like, that's not that big of a dinosaur, really. And... So we've seen that scene already, you can see the fire, and you can see the volcano starting to really blow in the background. And that was June 6th. I really wish we were getting it June 6th in America, but we're not. Unless they change it. I hope they change it, but they probably won't. Anyway, so that was our first actual look at the movie. I really like what we've seen so far, and I hope... This shot right here is good because you get a full body shot of the of a new dinosaur, and how can you not love that? You get a look at it, really good look at it, and it almost has the same look as the Ceratosaurus from Jurassic Park Three. So, intentional reference or not, I really like that. I really like this shot too. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's really good. Anyway, I really liked this clip, and I really like where it looks like we're going, and I do, and I love the way it sets up the tone for the movie. Slow suspense building, which is good. I don't think there's anything else yet. Yeah, it's just the uh, international trailer. I already talked about that a long time ago. So anyway, I liked this, and I really look forward to see what's coming next. All right, thanks for watching, guys. As you all know, I will continue to cover new clips, TV spots. I will do theories and give you news until the movie comes out, in which I will do a review. Yay! I know I don't sound very excited, but I'm really tired. But thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.